What's up, YouTube? Gil Daddy's back. Yes, it's only been a week. It's not three weeks this time, so you don't have to whine this time. And I know you guys miss me, because everybody loves me. Hey. Look. Hey. What? What? You don't love me? <laughs> Almost everybody loves me. <laughs> All right, guys, we just went out on a Friday and went yard selling for about eight hours. Why? Because we're pickers. That's what we do. When I see this shit, I'm like a fly on shit. Because that's what we do, guys, right? So what do we got? What did we get? Well, we got all sorts of stuff. Now, again, we got mostly Amazon stuff because I'm just really... I don't know. I'm really infatuated with Amazon right now. I'm infatuated with how easy it is. I just love the fact that I can go out for two days in a week and then work one more day getting the stuff off to Amazon and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, of course, I'm still doing eBay, so I still got to worry about that. And I did get some eBay stuff, so there is a few items and I'll let you know what they are. Um, I wanted to give you a little heads up when we're showing you these FBA items, when we're telling you what they are. When I say something goes for $25, that is FBA price, okay? And I know most of you guys know that already, but there are a few people out there that don't understand what FBA is. So they're going to go and look up an item and then say, Gil Daddy, you're full of crap. This stuff does not go for $25. It goes for $15. Well, you need to check the FBA price. When you're searching these items, if you want to double check me, you want to grade my performance or whatever you get your kicks off or whatever make sure you're checking FBA prices because I'm not trying to lie to you guys I'm actually just trying to show you guys some of the items that you can go out there to send into FBA and some of the items that of course you can sell on eBay or maybe uh, I actually got some also that I'm gonna sell on merchant fulfilled Amazon just because the listing process is still faster and easier than eBay um, but I'm always going back and forth between the two. You know, I'll check eBay and then I'll check Amazon and I'll see which one's going to make me the most money because in the end, that's what it's about, right? It's about making the most out of your dime. And most of the time, my dime turns into a dollar. With the kind of fines and the kind of things that we go out and get, it's usually about the average, a dime into a dollar. So what did we get? What did we get? Well, we got electronics. We got a Popeil pasta maker so you can get all that dough. We got Food Saver, Food Saver containers, little 90s CD players, remotes, we got games, we got buses, we got more games, and Nerf Gun, so your little kid can finally kick that bully's ass. There you go, Guitar Hero, Guitar, check it out. You know I like to get those. Juicer, if you guys need a juicer, get a hold of me, because juicing's good. We got this cool kit. It's a mister for your porch, just like your grandpa had. Printers! More other crap that I have no clue what it is, but the people are buying it, so I got it. Well, Gil Mama helped too. <laughs> we even got some old ass software, because some of this crap sells. So keep on looking for it. I got a lighthouse that's not supposed to be there. My daughter gave that to me for a gift, but I need to put a battery in it, put it in the bedroom, so I'll get that out. That's right, guys. I'm recording from the ceiling so you can get a good look at all this crap. Anyways, it's not that impressive, really, but I'm proud of it, so I'm excited. So be excited with me, please. And be excited that Gil Mama's going to show you what everything is, and Gil Daddy is going to tell you exactly what the stuff sells for on Amazon, Amazon and eBay and maybe Merchant Fulfilled before fees, okay? And I have all this stuff memorized, okay? Okay, you know. <laughs> All right, so go I'm ahead, Gil Mama. I'm excited that Gil Daddy had way too much caffeine today. I don't drink caffeine normally. Guitar Hero. That's right, guys. It's World a Tour. Wii Guitar Hero game. Now, this actually came with that guitar that was part of the deal. Um, I don't remember exactly what paid for it, but it was only a few dollars. Um, but that game by itself goes for about $15. Batman. I'm Batman. No, it's I'm Batman! <laughs> All right, well, that cartoon there, $12 uh, on Amazon, of course, FBA, and the Star Wars 
That is the New Hope. The New Hope goes for about $28, $29. And the other Star Wars Empire game Shrek. is The Empire, $17. You do know this isn't a game, right? It's a movie. Well, either way, I scanned it. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's not a game. They're movies. I'm sorry. I'm a dumbass. Death Machine? Either way, the prices are right. Death Machine, VHS, or VHS, is sealed, and it goes for about $15. Warlock? Warlock, 13 to $15. I'll try to speed it up so it's not a 40-minute video, guys. Manhunter, 9 to $10. Airplane 2? About $24, and those are all sealed. You can tell we like to scan the sealed VHS. Judy Frank and Dean? A Judy Frank and Dean VHS is $15, and that's actually in like new because the plastic was coming off a little bit. Okay, Dino Crisis 3. About $25 to $30. A little bit of cleaning needs to be done on the case. Sonic Heroes. You get about $20 out of that one. Ghost in the Darkness. Brand new sealed, $14. Bucks. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. I thought it was Ben Affleck. Well, it's Ben Affleck and Josh Brolin and Matt oh, Damon. Oh, and Matt Damon. About 11 bucks out of that one. Don Quixote. $9. Sealed. Big Bird. Follow That Bird. I recommend this movie, guys. I loved this movie when I was a kid. 8 to $10. You've seen that? Yes, I have. It's where Big Bird goes across country, and then he like meets those bad guys in the junkie truck. That game. Kingdom Hearts. $13. U-Star. U-Star. $10. Not a whole lot. Petticoat Junction. 16 bucks. Tenchu is about 11 to $12. Buzz. That Buzz game, about 20 NBA. That is a Sega Saturn game. Most sports games do not sell, but this is a Saturn, so 18 bucks. Ghost Rider. About 25 Flat to abs. Flabs yeah, to abs. I think I need that. Flabs to abs. <laughs> uh, 32 bucks. The Red and Green DVD, $17. Death Comedy Jam, $15. Star Wars The Force Unleashed, $15. Star Wars Battlefront, that's a fun game, $16. Surf, $17, never played it. Cars, $18. Father Goose. Father Goose, sealed, $14. Waiting for Guffman. Waiting for Guffman, $17. A Baby That Raps. A baby that wraps. Fourteen dollars for sketchy ways. Whoa! <laughs> that would have been fun. Yeah, you owe me some money. Uh, you. Oh. <laughs> she owes me money. <laughs> oh my god! Or something. All right, so take a dollar or two off of each one of those in case something got broken. <laughs> <laughs> the media's tough. Nothing's not, as long as the CD case is okay. cracked. I think we're good. Okay. Ah, loaded right. questions. Loaded questions. About sixteen to seventeen dollars. Lord of the Rings. Uh, thirty bucks on that. One. Uh, Apex converter box. Fifty to sixty dollars. That's because it is brand new. It's in an open box, but I'll seal it back up. And it's brand spanking new. Cool kit. About fifty to sixty dollars. It's just a mister, and I checked it out. It's brand new in the box, and I mean the box shows some shelfware, but it's brand new, and. Yeah, 50 to 60 bucks. Zathura. 25 bucks for that game. And, and these games, of course, we do check the pieces before we buy them, so make sure you guys do that when you're checking these games. HP PhotoSmart. All right. Uh, get about 80 to $100 on that, and we'll send it into FBA. KeyCAD Pro was originally $34.25. Yeah, and that's pretty old software, but you get about 30 bucks on it. A lot of this stuff... Uh, it was hard to find on FBA, so I had to check Camel, Camel, Camel on some of it. Cakewalk? Uh, about 50 to $60. Pirate dice? Uh, about 20 bucks. Pass the ball. About $48 on this Pass the Bomb. Game. Versus Azabella. About $16. Library, you're getting too close. It's like Liebrary. I don't understand that. Oh. Anyways, 35 bucks for I that. I didn't even look at it. Godfather. All right, The Godfather, Complete Epic. This is, this is actually a VHS um, tape set, but you get about 40 bucks out of that. Three things. Okay. Um, these these right here, uh, I did have to check Camel, Camel, Camel. I don't know why they call it that. Anyways, uh, there's three different sets in here. I'm going to sell them separately on FBA. 
Uh, I think two of them are, had some on there for around $60, $70. Another one wasn't on there, but the ranks on them were all pretty decent. I mean, they weren't, they weren't horrible. So I'm guessing I'm going to get about $60 to $70 a piece, maybe even uh, higher than that. I don't know yet. I'm just going to probably price it and see what happens. We guitar? The guitar... All right, the guitar goes for about 40 bucks. Okay, are you champion juicer? All right, this right here, what were we going to do with this one? I think FBM. we were going to... Okay, we're going to do or FBM. Sell it. Oh, yeah, FBM. 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 So we're going to do... Um, we're going to actually fill the item and list it on Amazon because it goes for more money. And you get about 130 to $140 out of this. Uh, I'll see. It's a heavy item and you lose on shipping. So either way, if I sell on eBay, I'll get between 80 and and $100 on it. Uh, pasta machine will get parted out, correct? Yeah, I'm going to part all that stuff out. I should get around 30 bucks out of the dies, the front nose comb, the locking ring, maybe the lid, some of the stuff I throw away because it just doesn't sell very well. Nerf gun? Um, we usually, we just sold one of those on eBay not too long ago for about 35 bucks, and that one I'm going to try putting on Amazon FBM. So I'll, I will send it out if it sells. Because everybody else is getting around $75 to $80 out of that Nerf gun. So I'm going to try to do the same. Okay. Panasonic CD player. Best Panasonic CD player ever. Yeah, that's... Uh... It's a SLSX289V if anybody wants to look it up. Alright, on that CD player there, uh, everybody around on Amazon has them priced around $160, $175 for that particular model. So I'm going to send it FBA and do the same. A Sony Walkman. The Sony Walkman. Okay, that Sony Walkman should get around twenty dollars for it. Uh, I don't know if we found them on FBA or not. We've, we I think the we same might one sell but blue. On we found the same one but blue. Right. So we might put that on eBay, but either way, fifteen to twenty bucks probably not a whole lot. Okay, so we have a Sony DVD player. You get about thirty-four bucks, and all these just let you guys know we're going to do on FBM because Amazon has about double the traffic as eBay, and the stuff seems to sell a lot faster and for more money. So, a Magnavox five-disc CD player. Uh, that went about sixty to seventy dollars. A Denon DVD player. I think about it's seventy-three dollars. And then a Sony DVD VHS. And that one's about $90. And there's the remotes form right there. We do have an extra remote up here that we're going to sell on eBay. And I think it goes We don't have like, an extra remote. Yeah, you got one at the yard sale. There's one on there. I don't oh. know. Oh, okay. Either way, we got a remote that we're only going to get like $12, $13 out of. And remember, these right here, I don't send these into FBA because then you have to like box it and have it all prepped for them. So I'll just put it on there. And when it sells, I'll ship it out. These are food saver sucker lids. Yeah, we got a bunch of these food saver things. We got some containers, some lids, some hoses, and these are the vacuum sealing attachments for the uh, wide mouth and small mouth jars. Um, but I figured on that stuff there, we'll probably get around thirty to fifty dollars parted out. I haven't really looked at it much, but that's usually about what we get. A beautiful living air. All right, the Living Air, we are going to put on Amazon FBM, again, not eBay, because we get more money on there. And we should get around 250 to $300. And that's, I mean, that's just what everybody else, some some other people have them up as high as like 400 and something. So, But I put new plates in it, because I actually had some, because um, I've dealt with them before. And it works great, so. We got a video eye. And that is one of those items I had no clue what the hell it was, but I looked it up, and it's some kind of video zoom-in camera thing. I don't know. I don't care what it is. All I know is that I'll get around $275 for it, and that will be on Amazon FBM. So not a whole heck of a lot we're going to put on eBay this time, guys. Another Nerf gun. And, yeah. That'll just, go on eBay. Yeah, that'll okay. go on eBay in a lot. Rain dial. That's a sprinkler control module. Everything looks great in there. And I looked it up, and and we should get around like $87, $86, $87 for it on FBA. On eBay, I think you get around $50. So it just kind of gives you an idea of the price differences. A uh, Zixel Q1000Z modem. We'll have to get a power cord for it, but that's not hard. Yeah, they're just 12 volt. We have, we have some. Uh, I'm going to send that into FBA. There's actually none on FBA right now when I'm making this video, but um, I'm going to probably put around $80 on that because they, they're going uh, FBM for around $50. So. 
and RCA. And, and that's I'm going to put on eBay. I'll probably get around 16, 17 bucks for it on eBay. Apex converter box. That one has a remote, and I will send that to FBA, and should get around 54, 55 bucks out of it. And an XSHD HD box. And I'll have to double check that. I didn't find that one on FBA, um, and I really don't feel like making a new listing, so I might just throw it on eBay and probably get around 20 bucks for it or so. And I think that is it this time. All right, and we spent a total of... 165 I think. Yeah, $165 for all this stuff. Um, just keep, I, I did cheat a little bit because when it hit about 2.30, I decided to stop at a thrift store and that's where I picked up, I picked up some media. I picked up some DVDs and stuff like that. So some of those DVDs and the games that you've seen, um, I actually got at a thrift store. I probably have about 25 or 30 bucks at the thrift store. So whatever. The rest is all yard sale. All right, so there was a few items that we forgot to show. They were in a bag under the table. So we have a Robotech game goes for about 13. A Crash game goes for about 25. Harry Potter uh, about 20. Some Ratchet thing <laughs> 14. God of War about 15. A brand new Leonard Skinner CD goes for about 18. We got some aluminum something Bible software. I don't know. I just scan it, guys. I don't. I don't give a shit what it is. Anyway, so that goes for about thirty-five dollars. Uh, the great Robert, brand new VHS. Never seen it, nor do I want to see it. But somebody will pay me about ten dollars for it. Scrooge uh, goes for about ten dollars. This one does. And we have Zathura. No, we did not get this with the game Zathura that we got, but. Just so happened we found one, $22 to $25. And then I have an MX Super Pro or something, GameCube game. Uh, get around $17 for that. This find right here, the lady actually gave it to us for free. Because she said, I don't know if you can even get film for those cameras. So you can have it. And that camera, we should get around $120 for. And that's pricing it low. And um, the rank on it's under 1000 So that was an awesome find. And then uh, Gil Mama decided to get this Starbucks coffee mug. I don't know why. I hate coffee mugs. I don't look forward to seeing this for six months on my shelf. It doesn't sell. We're keeping it. Oh, it doesn't sell. Just like I told her it didn't. Okay, sweet. So she's keeping it for her. She's going to be drinking coffee out of this. I just told you. It's if you want to buy it, get a hold of Gil Mama and tell her that you want it and you'll pay her something for it. I don't care what it is. <laughs> all right. So you've seen all that junk. That was from today friday and that's basically all we do we went to the uh, yard sales and then like i said after about two o'clock or so um you know the yard sales started getting slower shutting down and whatever so we decided to stop at uh i think two thrift stores and we then we got some uh few games and some cds some more media we didn't really get anything for ebay at the thrift stores um but overall we tallied it up and it's about twenty nine hundred dollars in stuff and that is in sales so that's before fees so um, you guys if you're selling on FBA Amazon FBM all that stuff you gotta figure the fees are gonna be taken out of that too but not a bad day at all we're gonna go back out tomorrow we're only gonna be able to do it till about noon so uh, and that's cuz Gil Mama's got a bridal shower she's got to do for my sister so we're gonna go out from about uh, about 8 o'clock to noon and see what we can find. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, or for you, it's only going to be a couple seconds. So, see you in a sec. Good morning, YouTube. All right, it's 7.30, and this is the second day of our yard selling adventures. Adventures in yard selling. And Gil Mama's hung over today. Yeah, it's your guys' fault. You know who you are. <laughs> Well, we only have a few hours this morning because we got stuff going on in the afternoon. So we're only going to be doing this for a few hours. But uh, we're coming up to, I guess, a big estate sale. And they're supposed to have a bunch of crap out there. So we'll see what we get. But uh, I'll go ahead and record what we got at the end of the trip. So see you guys later. All right, so we went out yesterday. And I didn't make video yesterday. So this is all Saturday's hauls. But I mean, we got a ton of shit here, and uh, we only went out till 12, so we didn't really do that bad. 
But we got lots of books and games and underground fences and Sony boxes of some sort. I don't care. Phones, software, games. But let's get down to business. I'm going to tell you what everything goes for on an Amazon FBA. And I don't know if we're doing any eBay and any of this stuff, but I'll tell you. So let me bring Gil Mama over here and she can be my Vanna White. Gil Mama. Okay, so Friday's hauls, what do we got first? We have a dog fence. Alright, they go for about 200 on FBA, and I will send that in. It's brand new in the box. A Sony Klee. Now, this is not brand new, but everything's in the box, and they go, I should be able to get about $140, $150 out of that. A Studio Cooking. Brand new in the box, 35 bucks. Women's Devotional Bible. That one there, you'd get about 20 bucks out of the Bible. Uh, speak in a week, Spanish things. We have three of those. They go for about 12 a piece. There's like a CD in each one. Observing God's World. About 20 bucks on that one. Pediatric Dentistry. Should get around, around 50 bucks out of the dentistry book. Identity Matters. About 35. California Real Estate. About 25. Nine Bible storybooks. And those range in price. It just depends on who's selling them and whatever. Uh, the lowest price I'll get on each of those is about $12 a piece. Some of them I might put 15 Next is the Sony box. Yeah, and you can stream Pandora, Netflix, and all that stuff on there. Um, we should get around 70 bucks for that. A set of phones that are KXTG4500 if anybody wants to look them up. Okay, these are super expensive. Uh, she wanted 40 We gave her 25 bucks for the whole box of them. Everything's supposed to work fine. Um, each hand, We're going to part this out. We should get around $500 for it. Um, the base goes for like $140, $150. Each of those handsets with the little bases, we should get around, what, 90 bucks a piece out of those. So, yeah, heck of a deal. Okay, lots of cases. We got Tybo. All right, 15 bucks. History Channel. Brand new, it's $25. God of War. God of War 2, $18. That one's brand new. God of War. $15. Pirates of the Caribbean. $20. Bucks. Dead to Right. $15. Harry Potter. $25. Tack 2. $18. Smackdown. $18. Sly 3. $14. Bucks. $0.50. Cent. $0.50. Cent. $15. Bad Boys. $15. Spider-Man. About 25. Tack 3. 12. Uh, Lord of the Rings. $18. Turok. $15. Scalar. Scalar. 20 bucks. X-Men. 15 bucks. Shadow of the Colossus. That's a fun game if no, none of you have ever played it. Anyways, $29. <laughs> Sly 2. 30 bucks. And Spider-Man. That's a DVD and about 12 bucks. A photo smart camera. Now that one, um, it's a HP nine twelve. You get around sixty, seventy bucks for it because it has like a little tiny crack right there, but it still functions and everything. So some Victoria's Secret bras, thirty six D. Yeah, and Gil Mama picked these up because everybody's talking about Victoria's Secret bras, even though I hate clothes. Um, forty bucks should get. Out There's, of four of them. There's four of them. So about ten bucks a piece. Okay, Rosetta Stone. And those will go on eBay, of course, not Amazon. Rosetta Stone Spanish? These will go on eBay because you cannot sell the Rosetta Stones on Amazon, probably because there's a lot of bootlegs out there, but um, he wanted 20 bucks a piece for them. I think I gave him 30 for both, and we, we'll get about 50 bucks a piece on eBay. Yeah. Spanish and Italian. So if you want to learn Italian, get a hold of me. Two Sony Discmans. This one's the one that goes for more. Yeah, the Sony one there, uh, they go for about 100 bucks on FBA, and that one is about 40 a GE cassette player. Wow, 70 bucks, is that right? Yep. Wow, so keep your eye open for these things, guys. I mean, on Amazon, on eBay, you probably can get around 15 to $20 for them. No, don't shoot me. Ouch! Stop it! Stop it! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> a Nerf reactor. <laughs> All right. These things are not really worth much unless you have the balls that she was just hitting you guys with. Um, but with the balls and stuff, uh, 15 bucks. And those, of course, will go on eBay. Amazon. Oh, Amazon? Yeah. Oh, Amazon. Okay. Wow. So we're finding more and more crap we can send in there. Top Gun NES. Uh, 15 bucks. Excite Bike NES. About 20. 
These are all PS1 games. Road right Rash. Here. Road Rash, about 15 bucks. Rush. About 15 bucks. 15 bucks. And about 25 bucks on that one. Apex box, this will go on eBay. Yeah, because I don't have the remote and stuff. And, uh, get around 16 bucks or so, 16, 17 bucks. Uh, two Sony remotes. Uh, one of them will get about. <clears throat> oh, one of them. One of them will get about ten bucks for the other one. Will get around twenty. And a Yamaha. A Yamaha remote. one. We should get around twenty-five bucks. And a Sony receiver. The Sony receiver we're gonna sell on fulfilled by us, not FBA, just because it's easier. And um, that one we should get around hundred and seven bucks for it. That's what everybody else is pricing theirs at. So, and the rank's not too bad on this stuff, guys. So. We just started listing I this think kind of thing. This is the highest non-media thing rank we have, and that has like 200,000. This has a what? 200,000. 200,000 rank. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, this is going out from, we started about, hit our first yard sale about 8 o'clock, and we were uh, done about noon, 1230, something like that, so. All right, guys, so the total uh, that we found on Saturday, um, selling price, of course, before all fees, FBA fees, and, uh, eBay fees, all that stuff, uh, is about $2,338. Now, for the total of the two days, um, selling price would be about $5,200, a little over $5,238. So not bad. We spent, between the two days, first day, I think it was like $180. Bucks. Second day, we spent about $165. So we spent a total of $345. The best part of getting all this stuff, really, is that we'll be able to box everything up in one day and ship it out to Amazon, uh, except for the things that we're going to do fulfilled by us and, of course, the eBay items. So a small, a little bit of it we'll have to deal with. Okay. Yeah, like whatever it was for the two days. So, so that is everything um, over the weekend that we've done. We haven't really listed anything on eBay in like two weeks, so we're going to list some items that we need to put on there um, just because Amazon's been doing so well for us. Uh, I know I talked before about our new product that we started, and then, of course, we started another one earlier this year. Those items are just going awesome for us. And um, I know I mentioned that we did do a training on that. If you watched any of the live hangouts and stuff, I've said that we went through a training for a gentleman that, um, he does Amazon, that's all he does, and he does hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in sales. He has like over 200 products. Uh, I did get a lot of emails from people asking me about where they can contact this guy because they might be interested in doing the same training. And I would not recommend anything unless I didn't believe in it. And I totally believe in this guy's training. I mean, it's very one-on-one, -on -one, very personal. I mean, you contact him anytime you want. The, the guys, he was just amazing. It was just an amazing training. And it, he only accepts like 25 to 30 people in the training sessions. He said that he's doing one more training on August 11th. And he's only, I don't even know if he's doing any more. Is he doing any more after that? No. He said he's not doing any more trainings after that. So if you are all interested, I'll put the link in the description. Um, just keep in mind, he does not like taking people that are very dumb to computers. <laughs> or very dumb to Amazon. He's very picky about who he chooses. Um, the training is about 2600 I think, right now, $2,600 or 2500 one of the two. You'll have to check out the link and see. Um, again, I'm not trying to push you guys to do this training. I just had a lot of people ask me about it, and um, I know that that's a lot of money for a lot of people, so if you can't afford it, I recommend staying away from it because I don't want you to go spend a bunch of money on training and then not have any money to get a product. Uh, so just keep that in mind that if you do this training, you are also going to need uh, some capital, you know, a grand, two grand, whatever, extra so that you can get your first product. Um, so if you can't afford it, stay away from it. But if you guys are looking for an excellent training that's going to advance you in creating your own products on Amazon, I highly suggest that you uh, talk to Mike. You will have to mention either me or Gil Mama. I'll put, I'll put the, you just have to give him, give him our, our names. I'll put that in the description below as well. He won't take anybody in the training unless uh, you were referred to him by somebody, somebody that's been in his training or somebody he knows. So I do get a kickback from that if you guys decide to do it. Um, but even if I didn't want the kickback, 
uh, I couldn't do it because you have to give them a name of somebody that referred you. Otherwise, you cannot sign up for the training. So either way, guys, I just wanted to be upfront with you guys about it. And uh, if you guys are interested, click that link. I will also put the links for um, the Sellers United Fund that we've been doing. I told you about it in the last video. Um, it's just a fund that we haven't spent any of it yet. And we're just trying to get everything figured out on how we're going to disperse it. We're thinking about maybe doing some reseller startup kits and other other things but if you'd like to donate you know a dollar five bucks twenty bucks a hundred thousand <laughs> whatever's within your means then we appreciate it and uh, I know the people that we're, when we disperse it to them they're gonna appreciate it too um, and you don't have to do just cash you can there, I'll put the address you can also send in things like if you have an extra shipping scale or things like that to uh, Chad which is Golden Finger Picker he's handling all the merchandise and if you can't afford it that's totally fine you know um, you can still just watch videos and learn and try to make some more money for yourself um, if you are one of those people that do need to scale or need some of these items to get started because you can't afford it then uh, definitely uh, send me or Gil Mama a message on the Facebook group or uh, get a hold of uh, Golden Finger Picker or also get a hold of Elena Elena is also um, a big part of organizing this whole thing and it's just something we're just trying out to see if it can help people and put them in the right direction to help in their families um, but that's all guys and like always uh, I'll put the links to our Facebook group and go in there sign up and join the community there it's absolutely free and uh, you guys can ask all the stupid questions you want and people will give you answers um, and man I always feel like I'm forgetting something uh, Cali Picker check out his channel he just started making some videos so he's he's fairly new on making videos but he gave us a shout out on his uh, channel so I'll give him a shout out and check out his videos also um, the girls are doing uh, a live hangout every Thursday um, Gil Mama puts a link in the Facebook group Gil Money and you guys can go in there and see what the girls are talking about I'm sure it's not very much but, you know. <laughs> if you're a guy I guess you can watch it too but it's uh, a bunch of vaginas hanging out talking about reselling and picking so definitely check that out it's uh, Gil Mama and Go Guy Jean and um, who else uh, Katie Patton I think was there yes okay so Katie Patton's on there um, the Florida picking queen might be there she wasn't there last time but anyways guys I'm I always having a ton of crap to cover with you guys but that's our yard sale haul um, so let me just right here is what we spent right here is the selling price on you know Amazon and eBay and everything so get out there and do some Amazon if you're not and if you don't want to whatever keep doing eBay either way go out there and make money talk to you later guys